Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing you some more fun free drumming ideas. Hope you're keeping safe and getting plenty of practice in. For this week's lesson, we'll be looking at the song uh, Knock On Wood. Now this isn't the full length song, this is taken from the syllabus from Trinity Rock and Pop's Grade 2 level. So just above beginner, so you want to be, you know, you should be able to play a few things at this point before you sort of start tackling this song. There's some nice little drum beats in there. Um, we're going to be syncopating certain hits on the snare drum or the crash or sometimes, and um, with the kick as well, um, along with the music. So that's a nice little skill we can pick up here. We've got some fairly simple grooves like I said before, we've got an open hi-hat, we've got a little bit of dynamics as well, we've got a crescendo where we're playing that sort of snare drum beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, and we've got this sort of little varying pattern which goes on in the chorus which sounds quite cool. So if you like what we saw in the intro and you want to give this one a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. All right, so we're going to kick things off by learning the intro. Now once you unlock and can play this first line of the song um, pretty comfortably, the rest of it's gonna fall into place pretty quick because once you've got down the sort of the feel and the flow and some of these sort of like snare drums and crash hits which are gonna line up with like the punches of the song, like da, 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 um, it's gonna sound quite cool. Once you get past that, it gets a little bit easier. Um, it's quite chilled, you're sort of trying to keep it that nice sort of like laid back Motown feel. Obviously we've got that bit where it sort of builds up into cause I'm better, knock, pop, 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 pop. We'll have a look at that. Um, but if we kick things off now by learning this very first line, what we've got, we'll have a look at the first two bars. It's a nice little two bar phrase. Um, we'll ignore the crash for now, but it does come in with a crash on the first hit. And what we've got is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So we've got Bass, tick, snare, tick, bass, bass, snare, bass for the first measure. Boom, snare, boom, boom, snare, boom. One and two and three and four and. When we move on to the second measure, this is kind of like a call and response sort of thing, so it's not going to repeat the same. It's got like a slight variation, giving it a nice little varied feel across the two measures. The second measure is going to be tick on its own, so there's no bass drum on the downbeat of one, so it's one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So we put those together. We've got one, two, three and four and. One and two, three and four and. All right, so that's the bass drum and snare drum placements. Hi hats are just keeping a nice steady eighth note pattern. And once we've done that, it gets to the sort of like nice, fun, tricky part. So let's add the crash to those first two bars. All right, that's the first two bars done. And it sort of wants us dynamically, it wants us to play this quite loud. When we move on to the final two measures of this line, we start off with a nice simple one and two and, and then for beat three, we're going to play three and, and then we're going to play four and. So if we put this bit together, we've got one and two and three and four and. All right, so we've got that crash on the and of beat four, which can sort of throw sort of like some new drummers off. So let's try that one more time. Boom, tick, snare, tick. Use your left hand for this if you're right-handed. I would anyway, you can use your left or right. But it sounds, it just feels more natural to go. Boom, tick, snare, tick, left, 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 crash. Now when we sort of like spill over into the second bar, well this is technically bar four of the song. Um, again, there's no bass drum or hi-hat on the downbeat of one. We go straight to another crash on the and of beat one. So we've got one and two and, okay? This crash is gonna linger all the way up to beat three. So it's gonna be one and two and. When we get up to beat three, three is gonna be four sixteenth notes. Three and up, and then for beat four we've got four and. If we sort of put measures one and two together, I'll sort of shout out the sticking as I'm playing. I'm going boom, tick, snare, tick, left, 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 right, 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 left, right, left, right, left. If we're counting it, we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So it's quite a mouthful, it's quite hard to count and play along um, when you're going through this. But once you've heard the song, you hear that dun 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 da 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 You can sort of hear the space where that little fill comes in at the end and you can feel where those snare drums and crashes should be. So one more time, I'm going to go through one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's go through that a little bit faster. Alright, and that is the second half of the first line. If we put that together with what we learned right at the start, and I'll put the crash in this time, we've got boom, snare, boom, boom, snare, boom, boom, snare, bass, bass, snare, tick, second half, boom, tick, snare, tick, left, 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 crash, crash, rest, right, left, right, left, right, left. 
This time I'm going to play it and not say anything. And that's it, that's your first line. Hush symbol. Now let's turn this down a little bit. There we go. Right, once we've got past that line, things get a little bit easier for the next four, eight, 12 bars, bah, 16, the rest of the page is actually pretty easy. We're then gonna sort of slip into this groove, which is bass, tick, snare, tick, bass, bass, snare, bass. All right, so it's very similar to that very first groove you did. So kick on beat one, kick and snare, and so we've got snare drum on beat two, one and two and, then we get to beat three, three and, and then for beat four we've got four and, giving us Boom, tick, snare, tick, boom, boom, snare, boom, boom, tick, snare, tick, bass, bass, snare, bass, bass. One of the ways to think about it, if you've got boom, tick, snare, tick, is the first half, and then as you go into the second half, you basically got a snare drum sandwiched between like two bass drums and hi-hats. So obviously you're going to get another bass drum as you go back round to the beginning. So if I sort of loop it round, boom, tick, snare, tick, boom, boom, snare, boom, boom, that's the beginning. Boom, boom, snare, boom, boom, tick, snare, tick. Counting it conventionally, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. All right, and the speed wise is about here. Out there. I'm being conscious not to hit that snare drum too hard. All right, so the second line, so this is bars uh, five, six, seven, and eight, it's just that groove. In fact, 9, 10, and 11 is also that groove. So you've got quite a while just sitting on that. Nice and easy. Now, once we get down to the end of the third line, so we're looking at now bar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So bar 12, we've got like a nice little open hi-hat. So all we're going to play is like a pretty standard 1 and 2 and 3 and and then for the and of beat four, we're just going to sort of lift our left foot as we hit the hi-hat. We're going to lift, bring our right foot up as well, because what's going to happen is as we go to the next beat, or the start of the next bar, um, we're closing the hi-hat and we're going to hit that bass drum. So I think we're going to go up and down together. So we've got bass, tick, snare, tick, bass, bass, snare. Both feet come up, and then both feet come down. Let's play that up to speed. I'm going to try and exaggerate my legs moving up. Can't work because I used to. I keep my heel down for the uh, open hi hat. Cool. So that is the first three lines done. Uh, line four. So we're looking at measures 13, 14, 15, and 16. You're all back to this groove. Bass, snare, bass, 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 bass, snare. So you need to get pretty comfortable with that one because you're gonna be playing it a lot. If we now move on to bars six, uh, 17, 18, 19 and 20, so the next four bars, um, the groove shifts a tiny bit and you'll hear why when you sort of hear this song. It's like, um, this is the moment where it's like, it's like thunder, lightning. You can hear the bass line changes um, and the feel of the song and the feel of the groove sort of changes with it. So what we've got is bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, take one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so again, we're not getting that um, bass drum on the downbeat of beat three, which is a, one of those places where we normally would play it. So we've got one and two and, so bass drum on the and of beat two, just a hi-hat for beat three, three and four and. We bring that groove up to speed. Boom, snare, boom, boom, snare, tick, boom, tick, snare, boom, tick, boom, snare, tick, boom, tick, snare, boom, tick, boom, snare, tick, boom, tick, snare, boom, tick, boom, snare, tick. And that's kind of like the second or third groove you need to learn throughout this song. There's not much more after this. All right, so by the time you've done that four times, you've pretty much done all of line five. All it leaves is this one little phrase, which we need to learn, because this is like, you know, a big part of the essence of the song. It's that, I guess I better Onward. That little section there. And all we've got, in fact, line five's a weird one, because, in fact, the first page is a weird one, because you tend to play... Um, songs in, you know, with like groups of four bars or multiples of four in some way, shape or form. But with this one, you've just got this little extra fifth bar where we've got this, you know, that nice little that 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 phrase. All right, and all it is, is a bass drum and a right hand. These are all eighth notes, so it's like one and two and three. I was trying to sort of speak over playing that, so I'll do it 
with a nice crack on the snare because each of these snare drums have got accents on them, so it's going to be. And I'm playing right, left, 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 right with the bass drum. Boom, left, 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 left. And then for beat four, we've got that little bit of space where that last line on wood would sort of fit in. So if we go, I'll play all of the fifth lines. This is measures 17 to 21. So here we go. We've got boom, snare, boom, boom, snare is one. Boom, snare, boom, boom, snare is two. Boom, snare, boom, boom, snare is three. Boom, snare, boom, boom, snare is four. Boom, left, 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 on wood. And that's where that bit comes in there. Now, once you've nailed that bit, you've got like over half the song done. It gets a little bit easier from here because we're just going to be going over um, sort of old ground. So we're back into the chorus, which has got a very similar flow to the intro. In fact, the first two bars are exactly the same. It's just that bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, snare, tick, bass, bass, snare, tick. Again, we go into the uh, second half of the chorus and we're going to get this boom, tick, snare, tick. Now, in the intro, we went left, 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 crash, crash. This is a bit different. Um, we've got boom, tick, snare, tick. We've now got, so that's one and two and. For beat three, we've got bass drums and hi-hats on three and. And then for beat four, we've got two snare drums, four and. So when I play the third measure of the chorus, we've got boom, tick, snare, tick, boom, boom, left, left. All right, boom, tick, snare, tick, boom, boom, left, left. And in the song, you get this dun, 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 dun. Da, da. So we're going to get the snare drums now follow those little horn hits. So we're going to get this boom, tick, snare, tick, boom, boom, snare, 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 snare. And these snares come in on the upbeat of beat one, beat two, and beat three. So we get, let's go from, let's play this as a two little, uh, little two bar phrase. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and. And then again, beat four's got that little bit of space afterwards. So one more time. Okay, if I now add this to the whole chorus, we've got boom, snare, boom, boom, snare, boom, boom, snare, bass, bass, snare, tick, boom, tick, snare, tick, kick, kick, snare, 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 snare. All right, and then that's going to lead us into what is labelled the instrumental, which is, again, this is a fairly simple pattern. It has got a crescendo sort of un underneath it. So we've got this three bar sequence which is all the same thing but it's got to gradually get louder so we've got to start off nice and quiet the main like the foundation of the group is like your hands your right hands playing eighth notes on a hi-hat and two and three and four and and your snare drums will be playing on the downbeat of each beat so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now all we're going to do is put a bass drum on beat one at the start of every bar so we get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four So you can just practice that a little bit if it's something that's not so familiar to you. Um, and then once you've done that, you've got to then practice going from quiet to loud. So you're going to get this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. So that fourth measure is just going to be sort of two like almost stabs that you can sort of think of where we're playing hi-hat, snare drum and bass drum on beat one, resting on two, hitting on three, and then resting on four. So if I play this instrumental all together, it's going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. From this point onwards, we're going to go back to the verse where we play exactly the same. Um, so it's going to be a whole load number of rounds of boom, snare, boom, boom, snare, boom, boom. So you're going to play seven rounds of that. Then you've got your open hi-hat again. Boom, snare, boom, boom, snare, open. Go back to another four bars of boom, 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 da, boom, boom. Easy. Um, once you've done four bars there, so just count that after you've done the hi hat. After you've done the hi hat, just count four bars of that particular groove, and then that's when you make the switch back to bass, snap, bass, bass, snap, another four. That's two, three, four, then. And you got that little da, 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 onward. We then go back to the chorus, which is exactly the same as the one we just done. Snare, boom, boom, snare, boom, boom, snare, bass, bass, snare, boom, tick, snare, the right, right, left, 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 left. Now, if you've got the book um, in front of you like I have, you would then skip the instrumental because the second time ending is essentially going to be another round of the chorus, but this time we're playing up on the ride. So we've just done this bit. Boom, snare, boom, boom, snare, boom, boom, 
We then go back, we've got exactly the same groove, except this time your right hand's over here. We've got a crash again on that first note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, the second half, okay, so the, the second half of the, the outro, or again, it's the chorus riff. Um, this is kind of a hybrid of the two we've done so far. So we're going to start off with our boom, tick, snare, tick. We lead into this one with left, left, left. So it's going to be one and two and three and four. And then we've got a crash. And it's then going to follow what the, um, the left hand was doing in that first, that second chorus idea that we did. So I'll just play the last two bars. Boom, tick, snare, tick, left, 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 crash, crash, crash. All right, and we've got one, two, three, four hits on the, uh, on, with the bass from the crash. And again, that's going to be on the and of beat one, the and of beat two, and the and of beat three. I'll see if I can go through these two bars and I'll count it out loud. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And then once we've done that, we've then got a bass from the hi hat on beat one of the very last bar. One, two, three, four. And another bass from the hi hat to finish things off on beat four. What I'll do, I'll play that whole outro section. It's five bars long, but just think of it as like one round of like the chorus or that main riff with an extra little couple of stabs at the end. So that should give us one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And that's the song done. All right, so that's all the little parts to go through. Um, what I would do is spend most of my time just getting like that first line, which is, you know, boom, bow, boom, boom, bow, boom, boom, stab, bass, bass, static, bass, stick, static, left, 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 crack, crack, yeah. la, 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 la. And then just practicing all the varying ends of that little section. All right, so you're going to have, like the first time around, obviously you've got da, 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 crash, crash, ba, 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 ba. The second time you come to it, which is labeled as the first chorus, you've got boom, tick, snare, tick, boom, boom, snare, 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 snare. So a little bit different there. And of course, you get down to the last one, which is the outro. And um, what you're going to get is exactly the same thing. Well, no, it's not. It's a hybrid of the two. It's that boom, tick, snare, tick, left, 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 crash, 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 crash. Obviously, if you want, you can just use your right hand for those crashes. One, two, three, four. Even though it's on the uh, four and one and two and three and. Um, but yeah, it's, it feels quite nice to alternate, so you know how many you're doing. So boom, down, left, 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 right, left, right, left, boom, two, three, four. All right, they're the only bits you're going to get stuck on. Um, if you haven't done too many open hi-hats, there's only like, I mean, there's one in here, but you end up repeating it, so you end up playing that twice. Um, again, practice that transition between this groove, which you'll find going from the verse into like the pre-chorus. So we get that boom, da, boom, boom, da, boom, boom, da, boom, boom. Change, snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, snare, bass, then you got that little phrase. Left, 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 left. Obviously, there's a chorus. All right, it's a really cool little song. It's one of the harder ones, I think, in grade two, because it's got more variation. You don't get much chance to settle on one particular groove or pattern. And obviously, pretty much every chorus is a little bit different. Uh, and you've got to sort of get those little syncopated hits you know, lining up exactly with the backing track. So you can have a lot of fun with that. So what I'll do now, I'll do another run through. This time you'll see the notation popping up on the screen as we're playing it, so you can see what I'm playing as I'm doing it. And feel free to play along. You've got a like, fairly short, we've well, got four counts to count in. If you want to play along, but you haven't got the backing track, then obviously just sort of go straight to the beginning of the video and it's right at the start. So you haven't got to worry about trying to find the exact place of where it comes in. Um, but obviously if you want to have the, see the, sh the, the notation with it, then shift towards the end. All right, so with all that said, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified every time a new lesson comes out, hit that little bell icon. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to sort of dive a little bit deeper into some of the graded material, we're sort of breaking down whole songs, I suggest you head over to my website, which is alexribchesterdrums.com. And over there, you can sign up as a sponsor for five pounds a month or 50 pounds for the year. And um, I've been sort of putting out much more content, obviously, during lockdown than I would do normally. So there's tons of material on there to go through and it doesn't really matter what level you are there's loads of stuff on there so i hope you enjoy that and uh, in the meantime take care keep drumming and i'll see you very soon for some more fun free drumming ideas all right see you later bye